Chief, so what's going on out here? Well, we have probably a couple hundred civilian volunteers back out again that we're coordinating. Uh, teams of law enforcement, again, with dogs. Uh, we have aircraft coming back. We have jet skis out and a couple boats, and we're just beginning the search again. Uh, there's no new developments or leads, uh, sightings, any of that type of thing. So what we've, what we've told you last night is pretty much what is still going on, uh, we're continuing the search. We have plenty, plenty of civilian volunteers, so uh, probably 200, and they're being put in, in locations throughout the area going east from here. Um, we appreciate all their help, but we have as many people as we can use right now. Can you walk us through yesterday? Just tell us what happened. How did the little boy get out of the house? What was he doing? Where were his parents and family? Well, it, it appears he just uh, walked out of the house and, and got out of the grandparents' sight for just uh, less than a minute and was seen walking down uh, uh, eastbound on Route 6 here. We got a call just before 4.30 that passers-by had seen him. Uh, I, myself, and two other officers were here in no more than a minute, and he was already so between here and just an eighth of a mile east of here, he vanished for, for the most part. Uh, we don't know where he went from there. And he has autism, so we Correct. don't know if he can communicate. We don't know if he's going to respond to his name. What should people do? I mean, Well, just continue to uh, check residents uh, from here, even going into Avon Lake as far as Bay Village. Continue to check your properties, look in sheds, garages, cars, uh, the smallest place, uh, you know, in your boat, under your jet ski, where anywhere a child could hide, you know, where we want people to keep doing that for us. Can you confirm that he was spotted on um, security video at a residence a couple doors down? Just walking, walking eastbound, right? Are you checking any other cameras right now? Yes, yes, as we speak. Which well, there's, we believe, okay. another house in, a, in an apartment <laughs> complex that has videos. We're looking at those. Do you have any theories as to where he might be? We're told he likes to hide. Is it possible he could be very close that we just, you know, in, in plain That's sight? That's why we're asking to keep people keep looking in their garages, cars, you know, and have the tarp over your barbecue grill. Anywhere a little one could hide. That's why we're asking for that to continue. We're also told that uh, he thinks the power plant is like a castle. Yes. Yes, that's been searched and is, again, extensively. A lot of people, dogs, aircraft, everything. Chief, is there anything else that you talked about? Water and the power plant. Water and the power plant. Water and the power plant. And you have the Coast Guard out there on the water, too. Yeah, the highway patrol is bringing a plane back. Uh, jet skis are out, boats are out. Are the currents a concern? I know a gentleman was missing the other week, and they were worried about the uh, water being a problem. We're not really talking about that right yet. Um, but, you know, again, hiding places. We're tunnels, hoping he's hiding. Tunnels, culverts, yeah, we've, we've actually had people crawling in in through a, a sewer pipes with flashlights. No luck. So, what's the plan moving forward today? Now you got a lot Keep of crews searching. out. Keep searching. Are you guys going to regroup at any point, like at noon or something, just to re you know? Uh, just to just to. Uh, get new areas and, and, you know, plot new areas on a map and, and search ones that haven't been searched yet. So at this time, you haven't narrowed down anywhere. It's, he could still be anywhere, is that? We're, we're, we're thinking from here east. And like I say, when we responded to that call from a passerby, seeing him around 4.30 walking right in this area, well, we got here in less than a minute and he was already nowhere to be seen. That leads us to believe close by and you know, we're asking people again check your backyards. Now I have a question since I'm a long time resident here at Sheffield Lake. Last night when I got notified um, they were telling me he was heading west so I started heading west and we were looking. Uh, I don't know I don't know who told way. you that but west was never in the picture. Okay. All right. Well. What time did he officially go missing? He was seen walking here right around 4.30. So that's the last time he was seen. None that I'm aware of. I don't, I don't believe so. None that I'm aware of. Do, um, with the with the little boy, um, 
lost track. How is the family doing? I know we haven't really been able to talk to I haven't to talked to the family since uh, uh, yesterday evening. I know the FBI is, is pretty keeping pretty much uh, in contact with them. They're upset at, you know, as could be imagined. What do you think about all the help we're receiving from you? Oh, it's overwhelming. And, and even the police agencies that are, uh, I mean, everybody is sending us help. And the volunteers, are, it's just overwhelming. I mean, it's, it's going to enable us to look in every nook and cranny of the, of the city. And without that, we couldn't do it. I'm proud of our city. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Tony T-O-N-Y is the first name, C-A-M-P-O. Tony Campo. Uh-huh. Police Chief. Right. Thank okay. you very much. Thanks, Chief. Right. Keep us informed, please. I'm going to be around here.